Hello everybody, Wong here. Today's video is going to be about the Ultimax 100. I've already done a video on this gun, but it recently got an update and I was actually going to test it to see if it was very different first to then like see if I would do a video on it. And I actually tried it out and it surprised me a lot. I actually thought it was really, really good. I It actually felt like it killed quicker despite there being no like bullet changes, uh, like DPS changes, sorry. But I'm going to explain what I, why I think that is the case um, later on. But yeah, this video is going to be about the Ultimax 100. Yeah, so let's move on with the video. So first of all, we're going to start out by listing the changes. Then I'm going to talk over a build that I recommend running. Then I'm going to do a live commentary match as always. I hope you guys enjoy. So the changes to the Ultimax 100. First of all, it got its reload space speed increased by 10%. So it reloads 10% faster. That's really, really awesome. It already reloaded really, really slow. So I'm glad it's a bit quicker. Reduced the first shot kick from two to 1.5. Now I originally thought that this didn't matter very much at all. I thought it was quite negligible, but since using the gun, it actually feels like close medium range instead of missing my second shot and then pulling down to hit my third shot. So my first shot will hit because I aim directly at them. Second shot will miss due to recoil and third shot will then hit. Now I find my second shot hits really often, which actually makes the DPS, um, sorry, the time to kill feel a lot faster at close to medium range. So that's actually a really interesting change that I thought was going to be negligible, but it actually makes the gun feel way, way better. It makes me feel like I kill quicker. So highly recommend giving it a go. But anyways, um, increase ADS speed from 0.35 to 3 to 0.3, which is, you know, that's fine. The ADS speed was slow and now it's a bit quicker. I honestly think that's pretty negligible. It helps that the gun has a slow draw speed. This stat, the ADS speed, actually helps because now when I pull it out and go to aim it's a bit faster so that's better I guess the run speed is increased from 0.9 to 0.925 honestly I'm good with any increase I'm glad they did it vertical recoil changes 1.5 to 1.1 is also really really good I find that now this gun competes more at ranges that it should and also the ranges that it should compete at has been extended even further so it does better within its normal range and it's total range has been extended. So all in all, this gun actually ends up feeling quite different despite having small changes, which is, it's pretty interesting in my opinion. It shows that first shot kick actually matters a fair bit compared to what I normally think. But um, yeah, anyways, now I'm gonna go over the build for the gun. Alrighty, so the build for the Ultimax 100, I have actually been running vertical grip, tactical barrel, and then either the slip medium scope or the M125 medium scope with a top sight. This build has been really, really awesome because this gun's range has been extended. It just works so fantastically at long range now. Um, if I'm playing a map like Tensor Town or Frugus or something, I would probably run the slip or even a red dot. But majority of the time, I'm running the M125 medium scope and just using this gun's range as much as, much as possible. Now, you still do move pretty slow with it so it's really really good if you're up in a building or something just like it used to be but now honestly I can get caught off guard when running through the open a little bit more and kill people that are half secluded behind cover this gun used to be really good at shredding people who are in the open now it's really really good at also shredding people who are behind cover which just means this gun will kill a lot more often now it's niche is actually occurs more often than it used to and actually now it has more range than the M249 so this gun actually you actually have have a reason to pick this gun it's almost like the org of lmgs in the way of like low dps but really really low recoil yeah i really think this gun is really really fun i think that if you're a fan of the org and you play more slow and more behind cover give the ultimax a go with support i, I honestly recommend it because you might enjoy it so yeah the ultimax feels really really good now Alrighty, now it's time to move on to the live commentary This is going to be my live commentary with the new Ultimax 100. This thing is actually friggin' awesome. I've been using this a bunch. Um, not, not like a bunch of bunch, sorry, but I've been using this a fair bit um, past couple of matches and I really, really, really like it. I think it feels way better. It almost feels like the org, but an LMG, um, which is interesting in terms of the low recoil, low DPS. But um, yeah, this match has already begun, but it's actually not too many tickets down, so I think it'll work for a live commentary still. So this is going to be my live commentary match. Um, we're on Lenovo Daytime, which is interesting. Getting this map on Daytime is a little rare. Um, getting this map in general is really rare now because of the map vote system, but... Oh, sweet. Gamer Worm's on. Hell yeah. Guys, remember, check out his stream. He is such a legend. I was watching him early today, and he was helping me out with some stuff. He's an absolute legend. Please check him out. He is a good bloke. Oh! 
Let's have a look. So, I want to prioritize a position where I can hunker down, just like the old Ultimax 100, except I shred way more than I used to. I'm actually going to run a red dot for a bit, just to get that running speed up, even if it's just 1%. And I'm going to jump in here and have a geese. So, the vertical recoil is way, way lower, um, if I remember correctly. I, I, I honestly do not remember the changes off the top of my head, because I'm actually recording this before recording the other parts of the video. Um, which I, I don't normally do, but I've been doing it a little bit more recently. Um, actually been getting into doing it like this way, but anyways. I'm gonna go towards C, because I believe that's where enemies are. There might be enemies in between C and A, so I actually might cut through the left here. And Oh, I've got Claymore's equipped from a thing I was doing earlier. No. Dang, that's a shame. I could have killed those two guys. Um, I'm gonna swing left here and try to just have a quick look. Got a bit lucky there, to be honest, but... Oh, that was just silly. I was in the open. Nice. He's doing the vehicle mine strat. Nice. Um, that's a good one. I'll, uh, I'll talk about it in a, in a future video, but it's like a cool one where you chuck them all on top of each other, I'm pretty sure, and do a thing, but I don't quite remember. Um, yeah, well done. Uh, he's a ledge. But anyways, anyways, sorry about this. Um, I need to focus on the game. So, um, what I was going to say earlier with stopping... I died really fast. I think I got shot at by somebody else and someone up close because I died really quick for the org. Um, when I was over here looking to the left, um, sometimes it's good to just take a break and check open ground, especially with a gun with low recoil where you'd actually be able to shred pretty hard. Um, it's a good thing to do. Dang. I'm dying really, really quick. Must be a little bit laggy. I, th I thought it was around the corner, but it is what it is. I I could be wrong, to be honest, so I'm not going to stress too hard. But if that happens a few more times, I might um, start calling him lag. Um, there's a guy here. I'm going to turn on the laser so it's easy to kill him. That was a good shot from that guy. I think he's using either a Unica or a Deagle. Oh, man. I should have um, kept my gun up. Oh no, that's a shame. I'm having a tough one here. I need to... I don't know if you guys have noticed, but I'm getting a lot of enemies in my red zone. So I need to start... Um, really limiting... I need to start building more cover. Um, passively, before I actually start getting shot at instead of after. Um, okay, let's go back here. And I want to jump into this building so I'm surrounded by cover instead of being out in the open. See, that's the beauty of x armor right there. I thought I killed that guy, so I stopped shooting. I shouldn't have gone for those... No, no. I shouldn't have gone for those shots there, because this gun pulls out really, really slowly. Yeah, I don't like that guy talking so much, but it is what it is. His mic's just a bit loud. I don't mind the call out, but... Yeah. Oh no. Turn off the chat, not because of Game of but just because people are saying some unsavory things and I want to make sure I don't have to like blur anything. This has been a tough match so far. I've got a few like kill die, kill die, kill die sort of moments. Yeah, I think you guys know what I mean, where it's like you get one kill and then die and one kill and die and you can't really go on a streak. So I'm going to slow down my play again and just keep my eyes screwed. I'm going to stand back from this hole. Oh no. That is such a shame. Man. I That is so unfortunate. I was just talking about playing safer. Then I just get rocketed. Oh man. That's embarrassing. All right, let's have a look. I'm going to stand back a little bit just to limit the red zone. Let's have a look. Enemies there. That actually is within my range. I just need a medium range scope on this thing. I just pre-fired that corner because he was either going to be left or right of that pillar, so I just kept shooting in the same place. Here's where I was earlier. I'm checking the left. Alright, the left looks good. Now I'm going to check the right. That was a double kill. That was a lucky double, honestly. I saw the other guy walking in, so I just kept shooting, but I didn't think it would kill him that fast. I'm going to go in here. A sniper shot whizzed past me, so I'm going to try to find that guy before doing anything else. Um, okay, okay. I didn't find the sniper. I swear he was behind me, but I saw a shot go over the other way, so he could have died. That's me re-peeking the guys from earlier, because I remember where they were, like, roughly. 
That's a shame. I um I can't believe that guy didn't run away before I was shooting at. I thought I would have tagged him more. Alright, because we're getting a lot of long range gunfights, let's switch actually to this one with a top sight. Um I'm going top sight instead of canted, no particular reason. I just for some reason it feels like a good top sight one. I think it's because the gun's really like chunky and heavy, so I feel like it would be a faster switch and also would take up less of my screen. Um, honestly, I do think that the top sight is in theory a lot better on most guns. But I just, I don't know what it is about the canted I really, really like, um, comparatively to the top sight. I think it's, um, back in the day in Call of Duty Modern Warfare, I remember the first time seeing a canted sight on that, like, sniper or whatever, and it was really cool. And I think just ever since then, I'm, like, really liking canted red dots. I think they're really cool. But I'm using the top sight this time, so what am I even saying? Just waiting for that guy to repeat because I knew he was tagged up. I want to res this guy, but I don't quite know where the enemies are, so I'm not going to go for it. I could have built around him, I guess, but I didn't. Yeah, wow, they're not lying. They blew up all these buildings. That's where I heard a footstep. That was a teammate. Just taking it extra slow and looking over the open ground before I cross. Just because I've been dying a lot and I want to slow down and actually get more kills. Oh, squad has zero points. This is very bad luck. I don't know what I'm going to do if I have zero points. Probably just going to go like this and shoot that guy. Man, this gun's draw speed is really, really bad, so i got to start... I need to hunker down, but all the buildings are getting destroyed. I think that's Game of Home and his mates doing it. Uh, so this is tough. This is actually tough. Okay, that guy's getting res. That's good. That's good. I'm gonna get out of this building because I think it's about to get blown up by Game Worm and his crew. I'm gonna go like this. I'm gonna prone here so they can't see me. I think this will be a good spot where they think I've jumped off, but I actually haven't. And I'll be able to come back in a moment. I'm sorry to my teammates there, he's fallen off. That was good. I'm doing alright here. Considering I joined late, I'm doing alright, but I still need to get way more kills for me to consider this for a commentary match. I need to spawn here and run as soon as I can, because this building's going to get destroyed. Dang, no. This is tough. He needs to get off this building. Yo, just so you know, that building you guys are on, they're blowing it up, so I try to get off if you can. And Yeah, it's, yeah, it's pretty It's pretty stuff, not going to lie. That's bad luck. Alrighty. That's my bad. I probably gave a call. That was probably a little frustrating if they already knew. <laughs> They're not liking any of the buildings. That's interesting. I swear I saw a glare, but then he aimed. I, I guess that was a different sniper because I would have seen the glare if it was the same guy. I'm just scanning with my eyes, like scanning all the cover, just because I don't want to peek everything at the same time. That's why you take it slow sometimes, because... It's hard right here to isolate angles because of all the buildings being gone. That's why, um, I don't know if you guys generally find, you know when you guys play like Salhan and stuff, and the game feels really, really crappy when the game's nearly over because all the buildings are destroyed? It's because there's nowhere to isolate angles, so every time you play, it's, it makes everything you do effectively random. Because you cannot... Uh, that counts as being in the building? That's crazy. Wow. But anyways, um, I'm also going to change to impact grenades because I had these for something else. Hmm. Alright, let's have a look. Let's go try to cap D. This gun is really good when you're in a good position, just like it used to be. But, um, it's just better now because of its low recoil, meaning that, um, a position doesn't have to be a position where you're secluded but the enemy isn't. Now you can be secluded and the enemy can be secluded, so you don't just have to flank, you can just get into a good position. Even not as much on a flank, which is good. Um, I'm gonna walk off of D because all the teammates are walking onto it now. And I don't need XP because I'm level 200. Oh. oh man, I'm having a really tough game. I'm sorry, guys. It's about halfway through and I only have 30 kills. That's frustrating. Um, 
Okay. Gotta go. Let's have a look here. It's tough to tell where the enemies are right now because there's no huge front that's going on. There's stuff going on here, which means there could be a bunch of enemies here. But I kind of doubt it. I've got a feeling they're on the bridge or in these buildings and along these buildings, but I'm not too sure. I've, um, this is a very annoying spot to be. I'm going to try and build out of here by doing a double Hesco on a... Oh, I don't have enough points. So I'm going to do it like this. Go like that, and go like that. Man, all these buildings are getting destroyed. Check out Game of Worm on Twitch, by the way. Um, switch the O with an X on Worm. And uh, you'll be able to see these buildings getting destroyed live. Oh my gosh. It's so good. Let me go over this way. Alright, alright, this is actually good. This is the kind of range I want the enemies to be at, and I can use this up and down cover to suddenly get back into a good spot. Just need to watch this tank. That's actually well within my range. He just got behind cover. He's above, so I'm gonna go like this. Go like that. <laughs> I am a sneaky little bastard. Man, I've been getting destroyed by snipers. I don't know why. Um, I've been getting absolutely wrecked by snipers. Wait for that guy to get rezzed. That guy was rezzed. I shot there just to check if he was rezzed because I couldn't fully see his body. Man, this actually might be one of the... Worst amount of kills I've gotten in a live commentary um, total. We'll have to see what happens still. We still have a thousand tickets left to go through, but definitely having a tough one. Yeah, that's. Yeah, I shouldn't have done that, but um, I think that that's hindsight. Man, this is a desolate wasteland. This is really, really hard. Because of all the buildings being destroyed, I don't have very good cover, so I'm gonna have to work a bit harder to get into a good spot. I'm going to be trying to abuse my range as much as I possibly can, because right now it's the only advantage I can kind of get. Um, flanking is going to be too hard when the enemies have really good visibility due to all the cover being gone. But um, we'll see what happens. Alrighty, let's keep having a look here. That sniper is scary. Yeah, it's tough with them when I have such slow movement speed. I'm getting destroyed by these snipers. Um, which is a real shame, but it is what it is. It feels like they... Like it feels like there are so many more snipers than normal. I don't know why. I used to never have that. That was a really bad aiming from me, but it is what it is. Far out, these snipers are really frustrating me. It's The worst part is because it's, it becomes a confirmed bleed. Um, like, I'm definitely going to bleed from a sniper round, which is a shame. And that makes it really, really hard to play. But it's all good. I'm going to keep doing this and just ignore the APC, because I want to get to these blocks here. See, that, that's what keeps happening. I just keep getting body shot. Honestly, though, um... Like, that is really the play. I always tell people when they're new to sniping to not worry as much about headshots as they think they should and to just go for bodies. And that'll eventually just translate into headshots over time. I'm going to get up and shoot that sniper when I'm up. Do this just so it's a little hard for me to see me if, say, if there's a guy running past. That was pretty bad for me. I honestly shouldn't have gone for that swing because my gun is supposed to lose right there. But I won. Oh, look, bam. Do you think I could have a heal? Thank you very much. Oh, no, I'm so sorry. I think I gave us away. I'm so sorry. Oh, man. Ah, oh, that's a shame. I shouldn't have asked for a heal there. I literally just got my squad killed. 
I'm so sorry to my squad. Thanks, God. Oh my gosh, look at this! This is like... This is so weird, this map looks so weird, what the hell? Oh my god, I'm gonna ch I'm honestly gonna tune into the stream after this. I, um... This is crazy! What the heck, check all the buildings! Oh my gosh, I've seen like, buildings get destroyed before, but not this many, this is insane. And he's going 41 and 49 too, so I reckon that's all kills from buildings blowing up. That's insane. Um, he might be respawning to get more mines, I reckon. That could be what he's doing. I don't know. That's insane. Probably need to throw that guy's aim off. Um, and I think that worked. I think he would have killed me if uh, he hit the first shot there. That was my bad. I was honestly thinking about what I was saying instead of playing. 56 kills is alright, but it's... Definitely not as good as I want. This might be one of the lowest ones I've gotten. Maybe even the lowest, but it is what it is. Oh no, that's a teammate. I'm so bad. Oh man, this is so hard. With all the movement speed stuff. I need to get to range, but um... It's like hard with the squad spawns. Not that the squad's in bad spots, they're just in bad spots for the Ultimax 100. Except for these guys, I want to be here. Yeah. Only 25 tickets left. I wonder if we gotta get one more kill, I don't think so, but we'll see. Right here. Dang, that would have been it. Dang, GG. Man, 57 to 23, definitely not my best, but um... We also did join late, so I don't know, about 500 off each team if I remember correctly. But um, anyways, yeah, I really am liking the, the new Ultimax 100. It has like the same, it has nearly all the same downsides as the other one, as like the old Ultimax, but now it just, the ease of kills is so much better. So it's like, I understand the trade-off now. Another thing is its range has definitely been extended due to this recoil buff. So um, it definitely feels like it's it's got its own niche now compared to the M249. Because the M249 was just better at everything, whereas now I actually do consider this really, really good at range and a lot more, um, a lot more accurate almost. It feels more accurate because I can t chuck a medium range scope on it and it actually runs really well. But um, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll catch you in the next one.